Star Wars, the Acolytes, the Acolytes, however you want to pronounce that. The Acolyte. I go Acolyte, actually, which is why I did that. Um, okay. Just don't say that anywhere with anybody who reads ever. <laughs> sure. Acolyte. Sure. Yeah, after black? the math. Who are you? Who are you? Black thought now? You black thought? You just changing words, making fit your rhymes. That's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. I hope to spit one bar as hot as black thought. Bro, I hope to, I, I hope to do anything as cold as he spits a bar. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me? Best rapper <laughs> on the planet Earth. You know, dead or alive. Can't can't Best be mad at that. On the planet Earth. But you talk about black Jon Snow in the rap game, like. That's that dude. He came out of nowhere and just kept creeping <laughs> and creeping. And then it was too late by the time you figured it out. It was too late. It was too late. It was already over. Um, the Disney Plus uh, Star Wars live action series is, uh, is heavily inspired by the Phantom Menace, according to the report. Ooh. Uh, Leslie Headland is uh, the showrunner and she said she remembered when she was 18 and went to go see Star Wars and she was kind of she didn't like it was she was always curious about like why they responded the way they did throughout the beats of the story like why would the Jedi act like this and why were they sort of just like hmm 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 ha about Darth Maul showing up and things like that. So the the, uh, the acolyte takes place before Phantom Menace, two hundred years, I believe. Um, but you know all this. You're the Star Wars guy. I'm just, you know, I'm just out here posing, right? You, I mean, what are your thoughts? What do you think? I will watch anything that's Star Wars. Give it a chance. I mean, sometimes they nail it, sometimes they don't. But I'll watch anything that's. Uh, Label star. Only thing I had 200 years before Darth Maul. Like I would like somebody to actually really explore the Darth Maul thing. I don't think he got enough screen time because if you see the type of shit he was doing in the comics, like everybody thought he was dead when he got chopped, like chopped in half, and he was not. Like dude came back, had his lower body was like robotic. Like he was a fucking beast. Like he was such a killer. I know they they had him come back a little bit in uh, the clone. Wars cartoon, he showed up. But that's a guy like, I mean, you want to center a story on a fucking badass. Do him. Like, again, no no disrespect to the Skywalker lineage, because without them, I guess you wouldn't really have a Star Wars story. But these guys are superpower pussies. They cried all the time. We've already talked about this. Dark Maul was a killer, Joe. Like, he was a fucking killer. And he didn't get no, he didn't get enough play in that movie. And then, like I said, the movie had more of a Disney feel to it at that point. Anyway, it was kind of kind of kiddy. I would love somebody to do some real dark mall shit. Like. Yeah, this, according to the report, the story takes place towards the end of the new uh, the new republic. And there was a there was an old RPG that came out like xbox ps2 era i don't know if you remember that knights, knights of, of the old, old republic yeah. yeah yeah so it takes place around that time according to her um like yeah the mandalorian was absolute fire and i'm excited about the next season of that as well as the uh the boba fett um section they're about to get into I, if they can pull off another one within this within the same universe, and then uh, um, I'm I'm forgetting her name, Rosario Dawson's uh, character. She's got one coming up. If they can pull this off, like I'm in, because all of those characters were fire. Um, <laughs> and they were so fire; they were better than the movies to be fucking truthful, but. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna check it out. It's just funny that you hear somebody that was like heavily influenced by that shitty ass movie. Um, so if she can turn that into something positive, like kudos to her. 
I'm really looking forward to, to the, you're talking about the Ahsoka, the Ahsoka series. Yes. Yeah. Cause she got one Boba Fett's about to get his turn. Um, yeah, it's, <laughs> if they're not doing a limited series with the Marvel characters, they got a few from Disney from uh, Star Wars to, to hand them over to. They could do this with fucking a Mace Windu. Like, we need to see that young nigga spry. Like, you said you saw the Cl Clone Wars cartoons, right? You remember what he was doing in that. <laughs> hey, Grievous. <Yeah>. Bye, Grievous. <laughs> yeah, he didn't, he, didn't, he, didn't, he, did, he got a lot of shine in the Clone Wars stuff, but he didn't get enough shine in the movie. No. Mace, Mace Windu was a killer. Like, he, he was, he he's so second with powerful. the force. Like, yo, like, the, and the purple lightsaber jump. Come right. on, man. <laughs> right. Right. BMF, get the fuck out of here, bro. Get the fuck out of here. So, yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to it. If it'll get us closer to that.